I've written this letter to our current Minister of Defence because I feel that things have been building up to the destruction of all the Western nations. All our industries are being sold off abroad or to China. Even our utilities have been sold abroad. And of course, everybody is doing it to give us a jolly good deal, aren't they? Not. All the people who are gradually working against us, who are supposed to serve us, our governments, are getting more and more bold in what they're doing. Do we have to fight all these wars? What is going on in Ukraine? I am outraged that we should be encouraging, aiding and abetting what is going on in Ukraine by sending um, arms out there, paid for by us. Did, didn't people know that even just one missile costs something like a million quid? That could be spent much more wisely on many things. I would like to see it go to charities. There are so many things that could be done in this country, fixing our roads for one. Anyway, I feel that so many of these ministers of defence get stuck behind, between gears. They get into power and they start thinking they're minister of war. So I've written this letter to our current uh, minister of defence, Mr Ben Wallace, right honourable, and I'm going to read it to you. So... Mr Wallace, I feel that I must protest in the strongest terms to this government's handling of the situation in Ukraine. I realise that there are those in the Cabinet who are actively fostering a third world war and you are sending arms purchased with British taxpayers' hard-earned money to do so. Previously I wrote to Michael Fallon to point out that he was not the Minister of War but of Defence and I feel that I must point that out to you also. The Western governments all trumpet their moral probity and make Mr Putin and Russia out to be the ultimate enemy. But you have very short memories. We have decimated the Middle East and 20 million are starving in the Yemen thanks to the recent policies of Western nations, let alone all the other theatres of war that this country has been involved in. Also, let us not forget the constant needling of Russia by the holding of NATO exercises on her borders. I am not at all sure that this war in Ukraine isn't a total chimera designed to persuade the world that Mr Putin is a crazed monster intent on, intent on invading Ukraine and possibly more, while in fact you are all on the same side and this is a device to destroy the Western nations by starving us of food and resources. Then when you have reduced the population to a few starving, desperate wretches, you will more easily be able to bring in a one-world government or communism. I note the destruction of our beautiful capital city and the construction of these dreadful little Soviet-style flats, many of them by railway lines in accordance with Agenda 30. Vauxhall looks like Gotham City now. What is it that Klaus Schwab is on record as saying? You will have nothing and you will own nothing and then you will be entirely happy. He, of course, will be ecstatic because he will own and have everything. I voted Conservative at the last election as I saw it as a way to remove this country from the mismanagement of Brussels. However, I voted with my fingers crossed behind my back because I felt that Boris Johnson was totally untrustworthy. How sad I am to be right. I couldn't give a damn about his parties, but the scamdemic and associated health problems that now affect so many who have taken these so-called vaccinations the lockdown, which was nothing more than a device to crush our economy and the NHS, the constant issuing of new measures that our government are attempting to bring into into further restrict the people and decimate the population, flood society with refugees who will never be anything but a further drain on resources, and now to witness the West doing everything to promote another war. I do not think that in living memory there has ever been a worse lot of politicians in Parliament, and I include the Labour leader also. But I would remind you that what goes around comes around. Reincarnation is a fact, whatever you like to believe, and every one of you who brings these terrible events to pass will be coming back as a child in the world you have created, possibly in the next 50 years. Will all, will all this be worth... Have, have be wor have, ah, will all this have been worth that? Yours a disgusted citizen of this once great nation.